Hello again! So today we're going to be comparing Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 since I've now been able to complete both of them and finish the stories and actually finish Future Connected for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 Definitive Edition. Now that I've gotten both of these games sort of, you know, under my belt basically, they've been completed, there are aspects to each that I feel like they each do better than the other. So I could go into major detail, but to avoid spoilers and just, you know, for those people that maybe, like me, never really played the first one or the second one um, before, I'm not going to really go, I'm going to kind of do broad strokes here and speak generally, and I'm going to look at five categories. So today we're going to be looking at visuals and world slash level design, um, gameplay, characters, story, and music so we're gonna look at those categories today and kind of just you know I'm gonna give my opinion which I thought which game I thought did each of those better one thing to note in what we're going through today is I'm speaking of Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition I'm not talking about the original back on the Wii or the 3ds version uh, the new 3ds version I'm going to be speaking of the Definitive Edition on Switch today because of all the quality of life changes they did and all the visual update and everything. So we're going to be comparing Definitive Edition versus Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So which one do I like more? Let's find out! So with the updated visuals in the Definitive Edition, uh, specifically regarding character models and faces, both games have strong visuals in both the characters and worlds. However, I enjoyed Xenoblade Chronicles 2 just slightly better than the first. The first game is very impressive because of the visual overhaul from the original. In short, I enjoyed Xenoblade Chronicles 2 only slightly better. The lands were more compelling to explore and see. I enjoyed the monster designs more in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Both use excellent color palettes, but I liked Xenoblade Chronicles 2 only slightly better. And though both have great concepts, being, you know, beings living on and enormous organisms, um, I love the concept of people living on various behemoths floating in the sky, which also is a sort of sea sky in a way, uh, is a bit more than two beings fighting till a stalemate, stalemate for me. I don't know, the world design, the level design, the look of everything in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I, I enjoyed a bit more than the first game but I will say in Future Connected that area that they added I kind of liked that one and it gave me Xenoblade Chronicle 2 vibes from it. As far as gameplay goes Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is the winner here. I mean when I first saw videos of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition I thought it was essentially the same as in the second game but boy was I wrong. The flow of the battle system is much smoother in the Definitive Edition, and the learning curve for gameplay mechanics uh, and how they work is less steep in the Definitive Edition as well. And there's so many little additions like the improved marking and tracking of quests, auto attacks consistently functioning even while moving around the battlefield, and so many others improve the gameplay immensely. Though there were still some odd difficulty spikes in the Definitive Edition, they were few and far between, and the overall experience was much more balanced than the second game. And the gotcha system for Blades in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is not the greatest. I was not a fan of that system. Much like the gameplay, the characters, the easy winner here is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, this isn't even a contest. The characters in the first game are outstanding. Uh, the character interactions are varied and just simply fantastic. All of the main cast are incredibly likable. The villains, villains are memorable. And Shulk is just a good dude. The voice acting in the first game is so much better than the second. Like, it's ridiculous how much better and endearing it is. As far as story goes, I gotta give this to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Just barely, just barely. Uh, though I really, really, really liked the story in Xenoblade Chronicles, and there was better pacing than the second game for sure, it never quite hit the highs I had with the second game. And uh, though the second game takes a bit longer to get going, I really enjoyed the latter half of the game much more than the first. Um, and not saying the first game is bad at all, I really liked the story a lot, but again, 
the high point of the second game was pretty darn high for me. I loved the latter half of the game. And the story in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, though without going into spoiler territory here, it felt much larger in scope than the first, or maybe I should say it kind of gave explanation of the scope from the uh, original game. The first one felt a little bit more limited, and then, yeah, we won't get into that. But the second game just felt a little bit bigger in scope to me. And as far as the music, well, surprise, surprise, this one's a tie. I, both of these games have outstanding soundtracks. I honestly couldn't pick one over the other. The variety and range of music in both is great. Soft emotional swells of orchestral pieces filled some parts of the game, while blood pumping metal songs take over battles. Uh, both games have memorable pieces, and they're both top notch soundtracks. It's, it's as simple as that. So there you have it. I mean, I, it's a tie. I know it feels like a cop out, right? I couldn't pick one over the other. Uh, but I just, you know, each game, it's so weird. I feel like these two games are like a complete package together. They complement each other. So like where Xenoblade 1 really got the gameplay and the characters down just fantastically. Uh, the second game had a much larger and uh, hit higher highs, higher notes, I guess you'd say, um, in the story, and the visuals were slightly better, you know, it just, they complemented each other, and then the music in both is probably the most consistent thing across this franchise. The music in both games is just, just great. I love it. I really wish I got a soundtrack for my Definitive Edition Special Edition. But anyway, there you have it. It's a tie. Sorry if you're skipping to the end here. <laughs> it's a tie. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of Xenoblade 1, Xenoblade 2, or any of the other Xenoblade games like Chronicles X or Gold Torn of the Golden Country or Future Connected. Let me know what you think of them. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? How would you uh, rate these and compare these in these five categories? As always, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'll catch you next time.